sweet. Is it the first time you've ever tried it? I think it is. I don't think I've ever. I'm so just shook. Make that the title of your vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new Vlogmas. I'm actually heading to Epcot today. So this is gonna be an Epcot Festival of the Holidays vlog. I've never been to Epcot during the Festival of the Holidays, so I'm really excited to see what it's like and what they have to offer. I'm excited to take you along and show you what we get up to, all the yummy treats that I'm eating, all the holiday merch. I don't know, I'll just show you as much as I can. I'm wearing my new little Disney Mickey Mouse hat. I love this hat so much. Oh, let me show you what I'm wearing today. I'm super comfy and casual. This is what I'm wearing today. Just my little Charlie Brown t-shirt with my Zara denim shorts. It's a warmer day here in Florida. It's like in the mid eighties. So you gotta do what you gotta do. I know Charlie Brown isn't Disney, but it's just really cute and Christmassy. And I'm wearing my coach bag, Aloha's sandals, and that is the Epcot look of the day. I feel like I look like a 90s like Disney mom right now. By the way, these are all of the presents under the tree. Um, it looks like a mess because we haven't wrapped even like half of them yet. Basically, the only presents that are wrapped are the ones from me and Josh to each other so that we didn't see them. Um, and then the rest still need to be wrapped. Oh, oh, da, 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 oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you, baby, this year. Hello, I'm at Epcot now. The sunshine is kind of crazy. Um, I'm just sitting on a bench right now outside of Disney Traders, kind of where the entrance is to the World Showcase. I'm just chilling, waiting on SG. She hit some traffic. So I've just been kind of browsing the shops and just enjoying this weather. It's such nice weather right now. I said it was going to be hot, but it's actually like in the 70s now. It's so nice. So I'm just sitting, chilling, enjoying. We're gonna go probably through Mexico first. And I'm thinking I might wanna get a little margarita. It sounds delicious. It is a beautiful evening. Sorry for this lighting. It's like golden hour, but the shadows are kind of crazy. Yeah, like I said, just waiting for SG. And then we're probably gonna get a little drink and just walk around, have some yummy food. That's my plan for the evening. How cute is this? This is the first little festival hut that I've come across, chestnuts and good cheer. Here's the menu, they've got all these glazed nuts, they have hot chocolate eggnog, they have a peanut butter whiskey hot chocolate. Oh wow, I might need to try that. I got the excess bag. I just got my first treat of the evening, it's the peanut butter whiskey eggnog and it's made with screwball peanut butter whiskey which Josh actually has at the house. I'm gonna try it right now. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. It literally tastes like perfect. And it came with a little cinnamon stick to stir it up and give it a little bit of spice. And the peanut butter is pretty mellow. It's not like in your face peanut buttery, but it definitely gives it a little something special. It's very good. This year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire. Here is my cranberry cinnamon margarita. It looks so good. It has a cinnamon sugar rim. Do you not mind my janky nails? Okay, cranberry cinnamon margarita. It looks so good. It has a little cinnamon sugar rim. It has a rosemary sprig in it. That is 10 out of 10. So delicious. I'm on my second drink and I'm still waiting for SD to show up, but I didn't have the whole eggnog in my defense. I had like four sips of it and I threw it away because it was just way too rich and I knew I wanted to have or wanted to taste some more drinks. So this is delicious. It's so good. In fact, I'm gonna try to recreate this for our Christmas day celebration or maybe Christmas Eve. We'll see how we're feeling, but this is very good. And Josh loves margaritas. So I think he would really like this. So I'm gonna try and see if I can recreate this for Christmas. So good. But SG should be walking over now. So I will catch back up with you whenever we're doing something fun. Like, all right, I trust I trust Sophie's opinion on eggnog. So you said it was good. So this eggnog is like the classic. It's a TG Lee. It's like the standard of eggnog. Do That's you like it? so yummy. Yes. It's so like rich and creamy. I love that. Yay! I'm so glad. 
Eggnog's kind of like a you hate it or you love it type of thing. Okay. Yeah, I love this. Wait, is it the first time you've ever tried it? I think it is. I don't think I've ever... I'm shook. shook. Make that the title of your vlog. <laughs> first time trying eggnog. It's shocking. And so like, this, the thumbnail can be going like this, and you go like, so never tried eggnog. <laughs> thumbnail right there. I don't know if that's going to be a good thumbnail. I got a weird talk about it in me. Yeah, but you can share more. Okay. I want to get it later. What am I Are you doing? recording? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh wait, this yeah, is sorry. SG's first time ever trying eggnog. She just tried it on her vlog, but I'm shook that she's never really had it before, and she likes it. It's really good. I'm a fan. Good. I'm a big fan. I'm so glad because eggnog is a very controversial, controversial. Why is subject. it controversial? Some people just hate it. It's like a weird flavor, kind of. Oh, I think it's so yummy. I love it. Confused. It's my kind of girl. Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about. This is the German Christmas store. It's literally called the Christmas Corner, which just is straight out of a Hallmark movie. I love it. Let's go check it out. Look at all these pickle ornaments. This is so funny to me. I kind of want to get one. It's all German nutcrackers. When we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies. Japanese tart. It looks very interesting. It has red bean paste in it, and I'm not sure what else. I'll pop something on the screen that explains what this is because I honestly don't remember. But I'm gonna try it here. I'm not sure. What it looks like on the inside. What'd you get? Mm. Is it good? Mm. It's really interesting. It's not like overwhelmingly good or bad. It's just sweet and not super flavorful, but it has matcha, cream on top, and then red bean center. It's pretty good. I probably wouldn't get it again. SG got the little sushi tree. It looks really cute. Behind the scenes of SG's vlog, she has a full lighting crew. Me and Wesley are doing her flashlights for her. <laughs> They're giving me a spotlight. Perfect. Sun comes up. Are the good times with you, baby? This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. died unfortunately so I'm stuck vlogging on my phone but I just got a hot toddy a non-alcoholic one from 
twinings and it is so yummy. It's just like a nice like spiced hot tea. And she put a little cinnamon stick in it and it's so yummy. I love it. Now I'm gonna go find SG and Wesley because I lost them. I'm in Canada at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen and I think I'm gonna try the secret scallops. They just sound so good. Maybe I'll get a couple things actually. It smells so good here. All right, look at all of this goodness. So, Let what did you get, so? Okay, Fabulous. I got the beef bourguignon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ooh, yeah. And then seared scallops. These scallops smell amazing. It oh smells my goodness. so good. There was also this gingerbread cake that I wanted to get. It was like a Yule log. I saw that one, yeah. Did you not get I it? I was just like, I don't have enough hands to carry everything. Yeah. So that's why I didn't get it. Maybe not enough hands. I'm gonna try the scallops first. See what we think. It also has a parsnip. Something about parsnips with it. I'm gonna put a little thing on the screen that explains the whole dish. Mm. Oh my is it goodness! Yummy? That's so good. It smells. The scallops. Smell. It's got apples. What? Mm -hmm. Those little cubes are apples. And that's so delicious. Oh my goodness. Canada always hits it out of the park. They're always What my, in the heck? Surprisingly, they're like always my favorite. Not surprising. Food. Even, well, yeah, it's not that surprising. Well, it's just because they seem like it would just be kind of American food, but they're just always so good. This is delicious. Yeah. I really didn't have like that high expectations, but. Mm. It's like maple leaf, mm -hmm. apple, and now I'm trying, gonna try the beef bourguignon. I think it's what it's called. It's just like lots of gravy and potatoes yeah. and beef, so we'll see. I'm not the biggest beefy person, you guys know this, but I think it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Is it good? <laughs> okay. It's like insanely good. I'm what not a it? beef person either. No, I didn't even get a bite of beef on that bite. It was just like gravy and veggies and potato. It's a really, just, it's very flavorful. Yeah, this is for both of our vlogs because my camera died. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, honestly. <laughs> That's what Josh would say. Josh would be like, it's all right. No, it's so yum. Look at this carrot. So what that is too. I'll try a carrot. I'm not a big like beef person either, so let's see. The gravy is so good. That tastes like a hog. Yeah, it's like it tastes so warm. It's like pure comfort food. <gasps> Canada really knows how to do comfort food, that's for sure. For those of y'all who don't know, Sophie's actually Canadian. Half Canadian. Her dad's side of the family is all Canadian. That's Canadian enough. Yes. This might be like the best Epcot food I've ever had. Ever? From the festival. Mm. I'm like dying. It's Everything's so good. You heard it here first. I'm so glad I got both. Because originally you were just going to get the scallops. Yeah. This is, that would not have been a good enough dinner for me. Mm -mm. I was ready for like real food. Is that mashed potatoes under there too? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So... Yummy. So cute. Look at these cups. I don't think you understand. There's a little gingerbread man cookie on there. Mickey and Minnie. I can't. It literally says annual pass holder. I can't believe we waited oh, really? until the last day of the festival to get these, honestly. They're gingerbread milkshakes, so he went right in for it already. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> That's the best, the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I waited till the end to get this because I would have gotten this every single Wait. time. That's actually one of the best milkshakes I've ever tasted. It's so good. Well, now I gotta try it. Hold on. Yeah, you need to Let's try open it. This up. Mm. That is really good, and I don't even, yeah. like, I don't even like gingerbread. Yeah, that much. it like you can taste fresh ginger in it as well as like just gingerbread cookie flavor. <gasps> it is so good. So good. Cheers. Cheers! It's making me so happy to drink it. Mm -hmm. This, this feels so Christmassy. I say it feels very Florida Christmas. Oh yeah, because it's, it's like gingerbread and it's iced. Don't even care what we do. If 